Hello everybody! In previous videos we've already talked about different types of inks and spray inks are worthy of their own video. So we're going to show you how to use them and some tips on how to apply them. Spray inks are liquid and come in little bottles. You can find them in many colors and with different finishes. Translucent, opaque, glossy or metallic for example. On our website you have many brands to choose from. This type of ink is perfect for mixed media techniques, but you can apply it to all kinds of projects. It all depends on how you apply the ink. First of all, please take into account that you might smudge a lot, so it will be convenient to cover your working area. You can do this by covering it with paper towel or by working inside a box or on a waterproof surface that can be easily cleaned. Once you have the work area ready, let's see how to use the ink. Before spraying, the pigment must be mixed well, especially if the ink contains mica or glitter. It is better to do it this way, side to side, rather than up and down, to avoid clogging the atomizer. Before spraying the ink directly onto your project, we recommend testing it on a dirty piece of paper to check that it comes out correctly. The way you spray is very important. If you spray too close to the paper, you will get a very concentrated color stain which is not usually the result you are looking for with these inks. It is better to raise the bottle about 15 to 20 cm above the paper and see how the ink is distributed much better. There's still a circle, but it is much smoother. In case you want a uniform background, you can move the bottle while pressing the sprayer. This way, the ink is distributed much better. And remember that once you are done using the ink, it is convenient to clean the bottle to prevent the spray from clogging. This technique will be especially useful when using a stencil to create a background. Simply place the stencil and spray gently. Now carefully remove the stencil. If you want to use the ink left on the stencil, you can use another piece of paper and place the stencil on top and press with another piece of paper. As it is a liquid ink, you can use spray ink to make splashes. Unscrew the sprayer and splash it with a small tube. Now, you'll have to wait until it is completely dry which will take a little longer than if you sprayed it on. You can also use a spray ink to dye a ribbon. Or even a good and die cut to personalize it or make it match with your project. And you can even use the negative and include it on your project. If you have a white or transparent texture paste, you can color it by mix it with a spray ink. If you're interested on this topic, please let us know and we'll might do a future video about it. There are many more ways to use spray inks, but hopefully with these basic ideas you will be inspired to use them. There are many applications and you can adjust them to your own style depending on the colors and techniques you use. Let us know in the comments if you like them and if you have used them. See you in the next video!